there and then I felt like the second 25 I pieced together some good laps you know I got hung up a minute in traffic but uh, you know I felt overall I did a pretty decent job so in the track kind of finally progressed to where you could you know run through the middle and things like that at least for me and um, that helped get through traffic a, a little bit easier too. Gio, how close were you to catching up there to, to Kyle there in that one run? It looked like you had him, did you feel like you had him, you were tracking him down there in the second half of the race? Yeah, I felt like the bottom of three and four was really my sweet spot. Um, you could kind of drift up off two and, and catch that grip in the middle, but um, don't know if I just faded mentally or, you know, lappers were kind of on the bottom. I struggled getting by Brad, you know, he was about as fast as I was, and then Kyle kind of sailed off in the distance, so. Um, I don't know, you know, I'm going to replay that one for a while in my head, but yeah, I, like I said, 50 laps is a long time. You know, I, I was kind of looking at the board for the first 25 because I got the third, it felt really good, and then um, obviously when I saw the yellow come out, it was at, it knew it was at 25 and uh, didn't really want to do much because I felt really good, and the track didn't change a whole lot, the cushion probably got bigger, uh, and that grease finally blew off on the bottom to where you could really run right around the gutter and uh, just had a, had a really good car. I can't really complain too much about it, even though I like to most of the times, but uh, yeah, I... Um, Proud of my guys, pr proud of the run we had, and, and proud of putting the whole week together. Kyle, were you surprised that uh, Silva wanted to keep the tires on the car at the break? Um, no, because I think he's done that in the past. Um, our tires looked really good, I guess, at the break, and um, you know, Paul's Paul's really smart. Like, I mean, there's no real reason to put on new tires if they're not damaged. So, yeah, you know, we didn't have any blisters. It didn't show much wear. So. You know, we decided to keep them on. Um, I feel like you know, this year we've maybe had at times, and maybe I'm probably just using this as an excuse because we've sucked most of the year, but I feel like we've had some inconsistent tires that have thrown us off and, and you made us struggle worse than we think we are. So we felt good the first 25 and probably didn't want to risk, you know, having any sort of weird thing present itself and, and then have us fade. So I was happy when I heard them say to keep them on. And um, yeah, I knew, I knew, gave me more confidence, I guess, to, to fire off the next screen knowing what I had was already good. Gio, you've had three great years, a couple fours a second. You talked about the mental part. What, what do you need to do to get to the next step? Well, I hope a third doesn't fill in that gap before a first does, but. Um, ah, good question. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think, you know, I, I forget sometimes that I'm only 22 years old. I know Corey's 13, but um, <laughs> I don't know. It, it's, I'd say a little discouraging to see Corey running so good, not discouraging, but worrying, I guess. Uh, when I was his age, I, I made the show, obviously, but didn't have near as good a run as he did, so. I don't know what, what it takes to get that next level. When I when I get there, I'll, I'll let you know. Um, just just being mentally strong, physically strong. Obviously, Kyle runs, you know, three, 400 lap races where, you know, might not be as physically demanding, um, but it's obviously mentally draining for sure to run a stock car that long, and uh, he's so good in every different discipline. I feel like Kyle's probably the greatest driver ever to live. Um, I don't think that's... Yeah. I don't think it's silly saying that. Um, we all know it, and, and to be... To close in the 57 was encouraging, but again, you know, 50 laps is a long time. There's no races longer than 25 laps here, so um, races like the King's Royal here, obviously the National Opener, the, the races are won, you know, Donnie told me in the last eight laps, so um, that's where I shit the bed at King's Royal or whatever race that was and hit the fence, so... Um, I didn't do it with eight to go this time, which was good, but to run second, you know, you have to lose these races before you can win them. Uh, Corey, what's it mean to you to sit up here with these two guys on the podium? Uh, yeah, man, it means a lot. Um, you know, we had success here earlier.